Sitting on the other side of the train, I mean the room now, I decided, you know what, let's just swap sides. See how this feels. This feels a little bit more like you're in a car driving straight. Being in the reverse side, it's a little different, kind of a different feeling. We're still in LA Central. Probably gonna take a minute for us to get to our like max cruising speed. So I'm noticing in the other um, YouTube videos that I've seen, and there is like a yellowish cast to these windows. And I think it's like just the tint because of, of like sun exposure and whatnot. So it does definitely change the way that it looks outside because it's a little bit more gold. We are on the golden, what is it, golden state? So, oh no, I'm stoked, I'm excited. I don't know what to talk about with you guys. But it's nice and cool in here. It's got some fresh air. This comes with like a blanket. Even though they said that they don't put beds down until later, which kind of bums me out because I'm a day napper and I want a day nap. I want to just like put my feet up and take a nap because I didn't sleep very well last night. I went to bed at 2 a.m. and got caught up watching Peaky Blinders. <sighs> Had to wake up at 7. The puppy was being weird. I don't know. It's one of those one of those nights right before travel where you can never get the proper amount of sleep. But uh, here we are. We made it. Train is on time. Lunch, I think, is around 12. I don't know if he said what time lunch was. Maybe this will tell us. 
It comes with like a... If you see something suspicious or unusual, say something. I hope no one reports me, because I am suspicious and incredibly unusual. Okay. Lunch does not have a time. We'll do a little bit of a tour uh, once every, everything gets settled in. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Do I just sit here? Do I just sit here and enjoy the ride? I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I would definitely spend the extra money to get a room at if you're ever going on the Amtrak. This is so nice. It is so spacious. And I have this all to myself. So it would be, you can, you can bring your best friend, you can bring your boyfriend, your spouse, your mom, your dad, if he's not too tall like mine, my dad would probably be kind of cramped in here. But these seats are nice and wide. Did bump my head. I did, I did bump my head. So be careful when standing up. If you're tall, just be careful, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. I could get used to this. I am having the best time, but I'm also like, what do I do with myself? Do I just sit here? Do I just... Do I just sit here on this train? Do I get up? Do I do things? I don't know. This is not like driving. This is not like flying. It's a whole other experience. I'm quite obsessed, but also like, what? <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> Welcome to the train life. Uh, I'm gonna have lunch in my car and um, just enjoy, just enjoy. I have a lot of time to just do nothing. And you know what? We don't really we don't really get that nowadays anymore. And we don't really know how to take advantage of it. So let's just get lost in the art of boredom. Let's just try it. in and um, yes I'm already laying down I'm laying down because um, I'm feeling a little motion sick and I kind of get this way when I'm on long car rides um, but I am very thankful that I have this room and I can just convert my chair into a bed and kind of just relax and lay down a little bit um, yeah, that's not fun. I ordered a Monte Cristo and a ginger ale for lunch, so hopefully that'll help the tummy. We're at the Oxnard station now, so it's gonna be a quick little stop, and then we'll be on our way again. I'm so excited. I didn't think I was gonna get an ocean view on this trip, but I was wrong. Just over there is the Pacific. And we get a lunch with a view. This was a nice surprise. Room three going north on the Amtrak. That'll get you an ocean view. Okay, lunch is served, you guys. I ordered chat's suggestion. Um, either getting the Monte Cristo or the hamburger. I'm going to get the hamburger on the trip back. So today we're trying the Amtrak Monte Cristo. It comes with Swiss cheddar and ham on a toasted bun with some potato chips. 
and um, because my tummy isn't feeling too good, I got a ginger ale. I decided not to eat in the dining car just yet. Probably save that for dinner because I got, I got a view so I can enjoy it in quiet and just really take in, take in the view, honestly. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Well, um, I had my first bite of Monte Cristo and I thought I had recorded my first, first impressions. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So it has ham, cheddar, Swiss, and turkey on a French toast bread and it's it's really subtle with the sweetness a nice saltiness of the ham and the meat and the cheese um even though it's kind of like stopped melting you know the cheese is just kind of like cold but it's actually pretty good and i feel like a kid i feel like a kid again just like having a ham and cheese grilled cheese um but this one actually has a little bit of sweetness to it so if i had syrup that would make it even better so if I wasn't in a room at, that had all the meals included, I would be kind of disappointed to pay $25 for like a lukewarm Monte Cristo sandwich. Flavor's good though. It would be even better if it were hot and melty and ooey and gooey. So just keep that in mind. Tonight, I'm kind of nervous to try the steak. Not gonna lie. This is the lunch. I'm nervous about the dinner. So I will let you know. But I just wanted to be honest and open and transparent about like, it's not like a five star meal or anything. Um, it's okay. It's okay. And it's included with the roomette. Okay, room tour. What do you get when you book a roomette on the Amtrak? Well, first you get all of your meals included, which includes breakfast, lunch, and a three course dinner. Um, including one cocktail at that dinner, which is wine, beer, or um, liquor. You also get a passenger car to yourself, a little roomette. Hi. So it basically looks like this. It's two seats. It's two seats. And these seats recline and they fold completely out into a bed. And then up here, you also have another bed, which pulls down. So it sleeps too. Um, you also get this tray here that folds out like so. So you have room for two people to enjoy their meal. And it also has like a little checkerboard on here if you have pieces or chess, whatever have you. If you're like a chess master, look at Queen's Gambit. Um, it comes with a light, a reading light here. And it also comes with volume control for the uh, announcements on the train, and then the ceiling light, and then a night light, whichever, I don't know where that goes to, but so far I've just been turning the ceiling light on and off. Um, after this also just folds right back up and stows away pretty easily. You also get two bottles of water when you board, menu, emergency information um, and then on this side you have this plug here which um, I would recommend getting an outlet extender because my laptop charger did not fit in this configuration and it also only comes with one charging port in general so I would maybe get an extension with more outlets this controls the temperature of the room and then we also have another reading light here. And then this is where my luggage is stored, but these are actually steps to get up into the bunk. It comes with full bedding, blanket. This is my blanket that I brought from home. Curtains, a door that shuts and locks from the inside. Bring your own padlock if you don't trust anybody to come in your room while you're uh, walking around or taking in the scenic car. Um, and then we have a closet here that will fit coats coats it has um shampooing conditioner and towels hangers here for the bathroom and 
that is the roomette. Oh, and it has a little of this air control. There's a little vent. This is a reading light for the top bunk. And again, I don't know how to, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hurt myself. I feel like I'll hurt myself or break a nail or something. And I have to keep my nails nice for this wedding, so. And then you get the view. I mean, you can't beat it. You can't beat that view. But I'm so happy. This is, this is great. I highly recommend getting a roomette, especially if you're traveling overnight. But this is great just even for a 10 hour trip like I'm doing right now. I could pull the bed out, which I already did, put it back. It's super easy and uh, everything is just super beautiful. Definitely a bucket list thing. Check it off your bucket list. Come to California, take the Coast Starlight and enjoy, enjoy the view and the experience. Absolutely amazing. to show you around the train. Who wants to go on a little train tour? We'll walk through the dining car and the sightseer lounge, business class and coach and uh, a little treat at the end. Getting some, some behind the train action. <laughs> Who wants to go on a train tour? taken my hair down and I'm getting a little bit sleepy so I thought that I might just take a bit of a nap and see how it is to sleep on on a train we're just about to approach San Luis Obispo which is a fresh air break the train is a little bit behind they're saying so it would be a quick in and out anyway so I figured I would just flatten these seats and make a nice little comfy bed. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe try to give you a uh, 
a view on how to do that. So wish me luck. nice comfy bed for napping and it wasn't it wasn't too hard at all so I'm very excited here's San Luis Obispo nap time a few moments later okay I was gonna fall asleep but I was thinking about it and I was thinking if people decide to you know get it on on a train is it called the Mile Long Club? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Why do things like this happen in our brains when we're trying to fall asleep? Anyway. We're moving again. If there's a if there's like if, if there's a name for it or something, let me know in the comments. It, it has to be mile long. I mean, it's just too perfect to not be. Okay, bye. Three hours later. It is a lot more difficult to fall asleep on a train. I did awake. I did awaken uh, quite a few times just because of the choo choo in and, and the announcements. But overall it's it's quite nice this is actually quite comfortable the little futon that you put out and um, it's nice and air conditioned it gets pretty dark um, yeah and I, I I did drool I drooled you know it's a good nap when you drool so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get up oh my gosh this is just so lovely
have my dinner. This is the Amtrak steak with a port sauce, green beans, mashed potatoes, carrots, and a bun. Topped with crispy onions. I got it medium rare and coconut, coconut shrimp. shrimp. So it's like a surf and turf. A glass of rosé. This is the meal that chat wanted me to try. If you guys want to be part of any of my vlogs, I do try to have them as interactive as possible. Join my Discord. I ask the community, you know, what they would like to see me try. I'll post the menu and they put this together for me. So let's take a look. It's already a lot warmer than that Monte Cristo was. I decided to have it in my room tonight too because my destination is actually not too too far away. So I'm watching the crow on Discord with the community here and, uh, and enjoying my steak. So here we go, let's see. Let's see how... Okay, well, it's definitely not medium rare. It's more medium, but there is a slight pink to it. Let's get it with some mashed potatoes and bon appetit. Okay. Wow. Oh, and it's actually, it's actually kind of pink right here too. This is really good. I am pleasantly surprised. I'm honestly, I'm so glad I got this. I, this was definitely worth, this was definitely worth um, the money for, for the roomette. Mm. It is very tender. It is very juicy. It's a great flavor. Love it. Cheers. Now the coconut shrimp the sweet and sour sauce that you can't really go wrong with this the sweet chili sauce it's got a nice spice to it but definitely the steak is a home run kudos kudos Amtrak cheesecake time so this is a white chocolate blueberry cobbler cheesecake looks absolutely delicious smells delicious let's get a bit bite with the crust it's like a blonde graham cracker crust oh holy crap that is that is so good nice tart blueberries a little bit of an acidity it feels like there's like a little bit of lemon um the cheesecake is so creamy the white chocolate i haven't had much of it yet but it pairs so well there's like chunks of cake in here so it's like the that's like the cobbler part it is so good get the cheesecake absolutely i'm getting this on the way back sorry guys no lemon meyer cake i'm getting the cheesecake it's so good disembarked and now I am in San Jose, California and I have to tell you I feel like I'm still swaying on solid ground. I heard that that was a thing and it's definitely, I definitely feel it. Um, but now it's about a 20 minute walk to my hotel and I'm debating whether or not I should get an Uber because I don't have luggage with wheels and it's pretty heavy so I'm going to think about it for a second, but it's good to be here. 
pain free ride, very easy, uh, very mellow, and again, such a great view. I'm looking forward to the return home. Hopefully, I won't be too hungover after the wedding. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. 